gonna do a quickie here for a very highly anticipated album by me and Keith anyway. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there watching feels the same way about it. It's the new Chris Robinson Brotherhood album. And what's the name of it? Servants of the Sun. Servants of the Sun and uh, you can hear it. You can hear those magical keys being tapped by the wizard himself. Adam McDougal. Awesome. This, this track here kind of reminds me, just the, the beginning of it reminds me of Circles Around the Sun. Some Earthly Delights. Earthly Delights is the name of this track. And uh, it's... Uh, the Earth is a place it, it is, around the sun. It is nice. It is nice. I'm not disappointed by the new release. While we're doing this little quickie here, we're going to drink some good Kentucky bourbon. I just went to the Willett Distillery a couple weeks ago, purchased this bottle. You went without me. I did. I went with my wife. Took his wife for, her for his anniversary and didn't even invite me to go along. I don't know why. Next year on our anniversary, you can go. Okay. All right. So anyway, bought this and I have not opened it yet. So at least there we go for me. Yeah. So Keith and I were trying to decide how do you pour this? Do you hold it by the neck, underneath, both hands? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pour it from the bottom. Get me a good little swig there. I need a little bit more of that. Gurgle, gurgle. Alright. There you go, Keith. So this is uh I'm gonna hold mine like this and see what happens. Yeah, go old school with it. So if if you're a fan of bourbon and you visit Kentucky and decide to do the bourbon trail, I definitely suggest going to Wild Turkey, Maker's Mark, go to Maker's Mark, that's a great tour to go through. And then the Willett Distillery was also a, an awesome experience. Uh, there's a lot of history there up in the hills of Kentucky, uh, overlooking the hills over and uh, you'll find the Heaven Hill Distillery across the road from the Willett Distillery. So. And there's uh, the, the tour guide we had was great. She was awesome. I can't remember her name. I was trying to think of it on the way down here. I can't remember her name. But anyway, it, it was an awesome tour. A nice... Sally? No, it wasn't Sally. Maybe Bertha. I don't know. Lisa? Maybe it was Lisa. I That's think it's so. a possibility. I Lisa it sounds Lisa. good enough for this video. Lisa's a nice name for a nice person. Yes. I, I like the name Lisa. So anyway, uh, there's a nice, clean, modern place. Uh, beautiful beautiful uh, place there to go to like I said a lot of history so what do you think about it did you well, try it yet I smelled it I smelled it and it's uh, you know it reminds me of wild turkey it does a, it yeah. has a rich full smell the color is nice and dark and kind right. of a, a golden brown yeah. color if you do go to the Will of the Story, I suggest doing the production tour. That was the tour that my wife and I did. You get four tastings uh, of your choice. One, they make a, they have a pre-mix that they do beforehand just for the sake of saving time for so many people on the tour. Uh, but they made it old-fashioned, and uh, it was pretty tasty. And then they have several different, you know, options to choose from as far as later on in the tour that you can taste from the different styles that they that they uh, make there at the place. And uh, they're considered a craft distillery. Why are they considered a craft distillery? Well, they're considered... Because they don't make on a large scale? They or? don't make on a large scale, right. And I think, if I remember correctly, they only have like 6,000 barrels on the place. Only? Only. And they only use 25 a day as far as emptying and bottling things like that so well you uh, can see this will it all the time on shelves it's yeah. not like it's hard to get, get it's, hold of. No, yeah you're right it's not hard to get a hold of it's so. about a what 30 40 dollar bottle yeah this bottle at the gift shop that i bought on the on the distillery site was uh i think it was 40 40 dollars so you know if, and of course it's cheaper here i'm sure compared to other places because we're in kentucky and so. we're not shipping it and you know paying to right. deplete the ozone right. and, yeah yeah Cause right. the more, uh, you know, global warming. So it's got, it's, uh, I mean, you know, I've already tried this. I already know what it tastes like because I tried it at the place. But uh, it's it's got a little bit of a burn to it. it Not does, much. It's burning hot. You think it's hot? I think it's hot. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think it has that much of a burn to it, but, you know, it's, each their own. It's so. like afterburn, like... 
it, mm. it doesn't hit you in the mouth, it hits you in the... In the gut, in right. the... Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I mean, it's I, hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that, yeah. It's... I mean... It would be a bad one to come back up on you. But it's really good in uh, old fashioned, and um, it, I like personally. A lot of people will say, "Oh, I don't believe you can do that." Um, I like it in cola, yeah. Preferably Dr Pepper or even better cherry Dr Pepper. I can imagine that. I can imagine it in that. I, yeah. I, it, it's not a one note uh, bourbon for me. Uh, I'm new to bourbon, and uh, I. Did refuse to drink it for a long time because it made me wince when I smell it. But yeah, now yeah, yeah. it doesn't. James, help me out of my out of my bourbon uh, phobia. Of, yeah, bourbon phobia. I guess you'd say. Yeah. Well, we tried a little bit higher grade bourbon than what maybe what you were used to. Right. Like, maybe I don't know. All right. So CRB, the servants of the sun, or servants of the sun, is the name of the album. And uh, what's the name of this song, Keith? This is Let It Fall. Yep. It's a, it, it, it's a great song. It's got a great Grateful Dead riff to it. You know, it's it's just a jamming. I mean, you're going to get up and kind of dance to it if you're a Grateful Dead, you know, a deadhead. It, it's, it just has that feel to it. So That's, a, uh, that's what this whole album was about for them. Yeah. It's something that uh, they want to be all the tracks to be able to play them on out on tour, out on the road, right. um, you know, previous albums, some of the tracks didn't work as well live, even though they were fucking fantastic on the album, yeah. they uh, just didn't come together for the band live, yeah. and I've never heard them play a song that I thought didn't come together live, <laughs> yeah. they, they, they're just phenomenal musicians, all of them, it's, right. it's Especially Adam McDougal. Yeah, if, yeah. Especially Adam McDougal. <laughs> I was excited that they actually have um, Venus and Chrome on this album. Right. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that they finally tracked it out and put it on there, not just live. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just glad that they laid it down. So that's that's awesome. Yes. So, yes. Uh, Venus and Chrome. Um, last two concerts we went to they yes. played venus and chrome it's awesome in nashville song. and um, it's amazing it was on betty's wins volume three, three yeah. as well yeah. and uh just phenomenal right i'm glad it's finally down on vinyl yes on a on a album yes so the tracks on this are some earthly delights let it fall rare birds uh, and then side B is Venus and Chrome, which we just talked about. Stars Fell on California, which is an awesome song. I love yes, that song. I love that song. I love that song. Well, uh, Coming Round the Mountain, that was one of the songs that we saw live at the uh, last Nashville show we went to. The Chauffeur's Daughter, uh, Dice Game, Matter Rose Interlude, which is a short little instrumental. Uh, very trippy, very good. And then uh, A Smiling Epitaph. Smiling Epitaph. And that's what they used to describe this album whenever it released on Friday. Mm -hmm. Released Friday, what was Friday? The 14th? 14th, yes. Yes. Um, of June. Of June, yes. 2019. 2019, that's the release date. Yep. And so many scattered words. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, um, Smiling Epitaph, that's uh, got to be one of my favorite tracks. Let It Fall, this track is one of my favorite mm -hmm. tracks. Some Earthly Delights. Yeah. Um, dice Game, what a smooth yes. jam Dice Game is. Dice Game is smooth. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And, and then, of course, Chauffeur's Daughter, which has a video out. Yes. Yeah. Check it out on yeah, YouTube. Check it out. So, uh, just real quick, my favorite song so far on this album, uh, Venus and Chrome is kind of an older song. I love that song, uh, but I like Rare Birds, and uh, I like Let It Fall. I, I, those are those are two really good songs. And that's, those are the ones I'm kind of jamming to right now whenever I listen to it. So, uh, you know, go with go out and listen to it and see what you think is your favorite song and then leave some comments down below and let us know what you think about the album or maybe you've already got the album and have listened to it leave us some comments how you uh, how you feel about the album so uh, and of course uh, the thousand pound gorilla in the room is we're hoping it's not the last studio album from 
the Brotherhood. Right. Hoping it's not the last and yeah. and uh, anxiously awaiting any news. I guess we'll have to wait till next year. Probably. We already know they're on hi hiatus for yes. the rest of 2019 when they finish up the tour. It's finished up in July or August. Um, then uh, they're done for the rest of this year. And, you know, of course, uh, Adam McDougall, he's left the band uh, completely. And uh, which it's, it's hard pill to swallow, uh, but because, you know, he's one of the the pillars for me right. of the band. I mean, yeah. it's, it's another, you know, you got Chris's vocals and then McDougall's keys and Neil's guitar. Yes. And, yes. You know, it's... it's those are the voices right, to me, right. and you know, we'll just. I'm anxious to, anxiously awaiting that other voice. I, I, I don't just want an accompaniment, you know, just something that, um, you know, compliments. Yes. I want something that that stands out, you know, uh, as far as. Uh, Fill in those shoes. I don't know if you can. Yeah, I, I don't know either. We'll we'll just have to wait and see. On a more positive note, though, I did read online that Circles Around the Sun is in the studio working yep. on new material for an album. So maybe that come out later this year, early next year. I don't know, but we gotta just, go see them. Just go ahead and take my money. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We'll definitely uh, have to make a trip to go see them. Uh, when they uh, are close to our area again, I know they were just recently in Kentucky, but I wasn't wasn't able to work that show out. But the next time they're in Kentucky or Tennessee, I'm, I'll be going there. And I can work everything out. So, all right. So, you know, we're not going to rate no album unless you want to. You want to rate it? It's five out of five. It is. It's five out of five. It's a Robinson, Chris Robinson Brotherhood. Listen, of course, it's going to be five uh, out of five. You got to listen to that riff. I love that guitar riff. I don't know who came up with that, Chris or Neil, but it is fucking badass. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, so the album is, of course, five. I'm, I'm going to give the bourbon, uh, I'll give it a solid four. Um, I don't think it burns that much. Keith is right. It kind of has more burn in the middle than it does at the top. So Right. Um, don't uh, don't get too crazy with it. It's it is a good sipping bourbon. I mean, I could just drink this by itself without mixing it with anything. But I also like to mix it. So if you if you're a mixer, go mix it. Go get it and mix it. So it it is a clean bourbon. It I mean it finishes clean. It's you know other than that heat in your chest when you yeah. drink it, it, it's after you swallow it, it's pretty much gone. But it it finishes with a smooth. Sweet note, you know what I mean? Yep. It's uh, when it leaves, it's smooth and sweet. It's not so much spice in the mouth, but it is hot. It's yeah. fucking your chest. <laughs> it's gonna just burst your chest open. The flames gonna pop out. Of it. I'll give it a four out of five as well. All right. I I like it. I mean, as far as sipping bourbons, it's really one of the best. Yeah. Right up there with Weller with me. Right. Okay, so. There we have it for this uh, shorter video here. There's not a whole lot of history to talk about with this album since it's only been out a few days, but uh, we wanted to get it out there and we know that we have people who listen to Chris Robinson Brotherhood who watch these videos. So we wanted to get it out there and let you guys know our thoughts about the album. And uh, we, we just think it rocks. Yeah. As all do do all the rest of the uh, Chris Robinson Brotherhood albums. They, they deliver. They do, they every do. time. Every time. And so, whatever the future may hold, I expect that they'll deliver. Yes, I, I agree. I fully expect, I but I'm anxious about McDougal not being in the band. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe 2020, they'll say, McDougal's back! Yeah. <laughs> One can hope. One can hope. <laughs> All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Uh, look us up on Facebook and Instagram. We post on there quite a bit. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Leave us some comments on videos. Go back and watch some other videos. We have other Chris Robinson Brotherhood videos. Uh, I think we've done all the albums, haven't we? Have we done all the studio albums? All the studio albums. I think we've done them all and uh, had some type of beer or bourbon, something to drink with them. So go check those other videos out. 
and uh, leave some comments on those too and give us some thumbs up on, on those. We appreciate you guys leaving us some feedback. Right? So for vibrations and uh, libations and some Willet bourbon and some awesome grooving Chris Robinson Brotherhood, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We love you. Bye-bye.